You can use the assignments tool in Blackboard to have students turn in written types of assignments such as worksheets, essays, or reports. Let's take a look at an example of the assignment tool and then we will get into how to create one. Here in our example biology course, we have this week one assignment, principles of inheritance. We have the worksheet attached, which is a Word doc that the student must download, complete, and then upload to the assignment submission area. There are details about the assignment as well as submission instructions. And when we click on the title, we enter the assignment submission area like a student will need to do. Here, the student can either write a submission, which isn't what we're asking for in this case, or they can attach a file. Students can attach Word or plain text documents, PDFs, and PowerPoints for assignments that require the use of SafeAssign. However, for assignments that don't require SafeAssign, such as worksheets, printed workbooks that they physically have, or video projects, students are able to upload photos and videos to submit their assignment. You'll want to keep this in mind when it comes to preparing your assignments for your course. The student also has an option to add a comment to call your attention to something about or within the assignment. This is especially helpful if students need to turn in drafts and need to request a critique on any area where they'd like further review from their instructor. Now that we've looked at this example, let's add an assignment to our course by replicating the one we just looked at. Come up to the Assessments menu at the top of your lesson and choose Assignment. In the Create Assignment page, fill in the assignment name and details. Since I have this information already prepared in a Word doc, I'm going to quickly copy it in. As a best practice for your assignment name, it's good to include the unit, week, or lesson number as well as a descriptive title. It's also recommended to include information on the assignment specifications or requirements, which might be specs such as page length, and citing sources for an essay. You'll want to make sure that the student understands how to submit their assignment by including those instructions, especially if the student is completing a unique assignment that requires uploading photo or video. This description area gives you the ability to share a link with your students for instructions on how to submit an assignment in Blackboard. You may need to attach a file for students to complete their assignment. This could range from attaching a worksheet you've created like we saw in our example, but you may need to attach other things, such as a photo that needs to be researched or used within an assignment. Next is the due date. Due dates are optional. However, assignments with due dates automatically show in your students' calendars and in the to-do module. Submissions are accepted after this due date, but are marked late. If you don't want students to access an assignment after the due date, Choose the appropriate display dates, which we'll talk about in a minute. I'm going to choose my due date and time. I also need to make sure this checkbox is selected for Blackboard to implement this due date. Blackboard requires you to add the number of points possible for your assignment, and you will add that here. I'm going to set 30 points for this worksheet. The rest of these grading items are optional, but we'll take a look at them. If you have a rubric that you would like to add to your assignment, you'll do that here. We'll go further into creating and adding rubrics in another video. The majority of your assignments may be individual assignments that are submitted by each student individually, but we'll quickly look at these other options. You can create group assignments in your course. Each group submits one collaborative assignment and all members receive the same grade. Note that a course group must exist before you can create group assignments. We'll talk more about setting up groups in another video. You need to select the group or groups that will receive this assignment by selecting the group name and clicking the arrow button to move the group to the selected items list. This means you can create a single assignment and assign it to all groups or create several unique assignments and assign them to individual groups. Only you and the members of a group have access to the assignment. Blackboard portfolios are a medium for users to efficiently collect and organize artifacts representative of work completed over time. It's similar to a portfolio website. You can request that portfolios be submitted for course assignments. Since we are creating an assignment for a single worksheet, I'm going to switch it back to individual submission. You can allow your students a single attempt to turn in their assignment, but you can also choose multiple or unlimited attempts. In this example, we'll choose multiple attempts. 
I then need to set the maximum number of attempts I will allow the students to submit this assignment. I'm going to type in three to allow a maximum of three attempts. I also need to decide which of these attempts will be scored. You can select the last graded attempt, the highest score of any attempt, the lowest score of any attempt, the first graded attempt, or an average of all of the attempts. I'm going to select the highest score. The last item in this submission detail section is the plagiarism tools. Safe Assign compares submitted assignments against a set of academic papers to identify areas of overlap between the submitted assignments and existing works. After a submission is processed, a report is generated detailing the percentage of text in the submitted paper that matches the existing sources. The report shows the suspected sources for each section of the submitted paper that returns a match. Check the box if you'd like to use SafeAssign for the assignments that you're creating. You can also choose to allow your students to view the originality reports for their attempts. Let's look at the last option, exclude submissions from the institutional and global references database. You will select this if you want to allow non-final submissions for this particular assignment, such as using multiple attempts, but still want to use SafeAssign. You then need to set up a separate final assignment for students to submit to that will allow the inclusion of the submissions to the institutional or global databases. These tools work great for essays and papers to check for originality, but not for worksheet type of assignments like I'm using. This is due to the pre-created question text that's already contained in the worksheet. Since each student will submit a worksheet with the same pre-created questions, SafeAssign will flag this as plagiarism. So, for this example, I'm not going to select the SafeAssign tool. Next up is the grading options. You can enable anonymous grading during the creation stage to eliminate grading bias for high stake assignments. You can also enable delegated grading if you have a teaching assistant who helps you with grading. In this example, I don't need these options, so I'm going to leave them unchecked. In the display of grades section, you'll choose how grades will appear in the Grade Center and to students in their My Grades area. Only your primary selection appears to students. We are going to keep the primary as score and the secondary will be left as none. You can also choose to include the assignment score in grading calculations, which I will leave selected. Depending on the assignment requirements, you can choose not to show the grade and statistical information to students in My Grades. We will show this to students in their My Grades area. The last piece of information is to set the availability of this assignment. Blackboard can automatically show and hide assignments when using this feature. If I don't want students to have access to the assignment until a specific date and time, I can choose that here and Blackboard will automatically make it available at that time. If I want to hide this assignment so that students no longer have access to submit after a certain date, I can set that here and Blackboard will automatically hide it at that time. Make sure that the checkbox is also selected. If you no longer want to use one of the availability dates, you can uncheck it. The date information will remain in these fields, but it will not affect the availability of the assignment. You also need to keep this make the assignment available checked when using the limited availability dates. The very last item is to decide if you'd like to track the number of views which is called statistics tracking. This will allow you to view statistics for all enrolled users on any content item where you select this option. We will choose to track this assignment. And finally, hit submit. Scrolling to the bottom of the page to find our newly created assignment, we can see that the item is hidden from students until our chosen date and that the statistics tracking is enabled. Before we close this video, let's look at how to generate a statistics report for a single content item or assignment in Blackboard. Go to the item and click the drop down menu to select View Statistics Report. Click the drop down menu to select Run. Select your desired specifications for your report. To select individual users, hold the control button on your keyboard and click on specific names with your mouse. If you want to select all students, hit Control A on your keyboard and click Submit. Blackboard will process your request and allow you to download your report. You are now ready to create assignments within Blackboard.